Bob Wright, come up and tell us more about the project. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you, Leanne. On behalf of Schneider, I would like to thank the California Resources Board, the California Energy Commission for their great support and funding of this important project. We really look forward to working with the South Coast Air Quality Management District on the management of the project and of course are really excited to work with our longtime partners at Daimler Trucks North America on the Freightliner eCascadia battery electric vehicles. At Schneider, we've set some aggressive sustainability targets for ourselves, and one of the most important ones is lowering our CO2 emissions per mile by 60% by the year 2035. And we know that battery electric vehicles and zero emission vehicles are really an important part of our ability to achieve that mission. And that's why these 50 trucks are so important to us. You've heard the theme of scale, you heard it from Eric, you heard it from Leanne, and that's really what we're going to demonstrate here is that we can put 50 battery electric vehicles into our intermodal operations here in Southern California and execute that effectively. And not only is it important for the mission here in Southern California, but will inform us and teach us how we can deploy more battery electric vehicles, not only in California, but across the country. So a really critical, important part of our future and our ability to achieve our sustainability efforts. There's another key part of the story here, and that's our drivers at Schneider. So we had the recent opportunity to test one of the eCascadias in our intermodal fleet here already. So we know the truck works. But what we also know is a great training opportunity to get our drivers in an early battery electric vehicle and let them experience what it's all about to drive a zero emission vehicle. And what I can tell you, I'm happy to say, is the drivers loved it. It was a great driver experience and they were proud to be part of the initiative. So not only are we really excited for the impact we have on the environment, we're excited the impact we have on the people that we're going to impact here, all the citizens of California as well as our drivers at Schneider. So thanks again for involving us. We look forward to having a uh, great project. And I'll be followed by Bill Bleem at NFI. Bill. Thank you, Rob. Extremely excited to be here and be part of this project this morning. NFI would really like to uh, thank CARB, C CEC, South Coast Air Quality Management District for this opportunity. Uh, our part of this project is uh, 50 trucks, as you heard, 30 Daimler trucks and 20 Volvo trucks. We'll also be putting in uh, the largest uh, high-powered charging infrastructure site in Ontario for our drainage fleet. Three years ago, NFI started on this battery electric zero emission journey, and we have been operating our Volvos and our Daimlers for two years. This truck right here, if you want to see it, you need to look quick because right after this press release, this truck will be heading over to the port to pick up a container and bring it back into the Inland Empire. So, um, with, with that said, uh, once again, want to thank CARB, CEC. We're really excited about getting this project going, bringing zero emissions, battery electric vehicles to the next level. We know that with our input to the OEMs, we're going to make this happen for a zero emission future. And with that, I want to introduce Gideon Krakow, board member of South Coast Air Quality Management District. Good morning, my name is Gideon Krakow, a board member from the South Coast AQMD. It's always tough to follow Bill. You're the one actually doing the work here. Um, just the suit uh, shaking your hand. Uh, also, if you heard the expression that about half of the people in California, like me, are transplants from New Jersey, so um, welcome. My colleagues have talked a lot about uh, this project today and the technology, but I'm here to talk about the impact that a project like this has on the ground, uh, on our roads, uh, in our communities. In Southern California, we have some of the worst air quality challenges in the United States. And we have some of the busiest goods movement sector where thousands of trucks travel our roads daily, contributing to air pollution. We owe it to the communities around our ports and near the warehouses in San Bernardino, Riverside, to work as hard as we can to get more clean trucks on the roads and support the infrastructure necessary, crucial for this transition. This Jetsy project is the largest commercial deployment of battery electric trucks in North America. 
and the air quality benefits from this project are real. Five tons of smog and particulate matter will be removed from our I-710 corridor because of this project. It eliminates 8,000 metric tons of GHGs annually and replaces 700,000 diesel gallons each year. Think of the impact this is going to have in our communities. And this, of course, is the kind of project, thanks to Bill and others, Schneider, that's going to pave the way for more to come. So, in addition to the Air Resources Board and our chair, Leanne Randolph, and the CEC, we want to thank our funding partners, the Mobile Source Air Pollution Reduction Review Committee, the Ports, Southern California Edison, Central List, NFI, Schneider, Daimler, Volvo, all the charging manufacturers, infrastructure providers, nonprofits, technology suppliers, and the many others who have helped put this Triple P private public partnership together. And I see our staff member here, Matt Miyasato from the South Coast. Matt, we couldn't do this without you, Dr. Miyasato. The South Coast believes that these kind of partnerships are key, and we're going to continue to emphasize this work with our agency partners, the private sector, for these kind of efforts to clean our air. So thank you all. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Eric.